Civic Education, Grade 9, Second Midterm Lesson, Democratic Governors, Chapter 3, in page number 72 to 94. Learning Outcomes By studying this chapter, you can have a good understanding about democracy, basic features of a democratic governance, duties bound by the rights of a citizen in a democratic society, tasks should be done by the political parties to establish social unity, elections and franchise of a democratic society, acting as a democratic citizen with assertiveness, contribution to nation building as a democratic citizen. Democracy it is a governing system as well as a lifestyle. We can simply be defined democracy as a governing system based on public preference. Among the government system in the world today, the democratic governance has been given a prominent place. The English word democracy is formed two Greek words demos and kratos demos means public and kratos denotes power so meaning of the word democracy in greek language is the power of the people so democracy can be introduced as a system of governance done by the people with the decision of the majority. Various definitions for democracy. Scholars have given various definitions for democracy. Here I mention few such definitions from them. Democracy is the public governance done by the people for the people by Abraham Lincoln. Democracy is a governing system which provides rights for everybody by sailor. Basic types of democracy. Mainly there are two types of democracy. Direct democracy. It is the first one. Direct involvement of the people in decision making and governance is direct democracy. The main feature of direct democracy is the direct part participation of the people in governing. The governors that exist in Greek city state of Athens and Sparta were direct democracy. The main governing institution of Athens was uh, citizen council and their uh, public opinion was inquired directly all the Athens had participated in governance, women, slaves and foreigners were not allowed to participate in the governance in Athens where direct democracy function. Only elderly male resides in the city was given opportunity to take an active role in the direct democratic governance. Second type indirect democracy we can be introduced direct democracy as representative democracy as it was difficult to implement direct democracy indirect democracy began governing done by the public representative is a feature of indirect democracy Public representatives are elected by the elections held time to time. Sri Lanka, in India, Japan, UK, United States of America, Switzerland, Canada. So those are the countries where the indirect democracy function. Basic features of a democratic governance. The basic feature of a democratic governance is that the government is directed uh, by the representative elected by the decision of the majority. So, these are the basic features of 
democratic governors act in accordance with the constitution taking decision by the majority freedom equality and rights holding free and fair election competitive party systems divide the country into polling division equal treatment under law so those are the basic features of a democratic governors features need to have a successful democratic governors okay children can you tell me the factors that determine the success of democracy yes having a high political knowledge and understanding of public taking intelligent decision when electing rules by the public having a dedicated and honest leadership having a good economic condition in the country having media freedom clear division of functions of the government so those are the functions that determine the success of democracy the duty is bound by the rights of a citizen in a democratic society rights of a citizen so what are the rights of a citizen we can tell right to live right to process a name and a nationality right to obtain education right to do a legal job right to follow a religion that one like right to elect rules right to live in an area that one like right to what a party that one prefers right to join union so those are the rights of a citizen duty is bound by the rights cause for the safeguarding of rights so this would be also safeguards other rights so what are the duties to be filled to the society while enjoying rights yes educate well or being and respecting parents teachers caring elders keeping the environment clean so protecting public pro property so here we can list out lot of duties to be filled to the society while enjoying rights so those are the duties to be filled to the society while enjoying rights political parties let us identify the functions of a political party there are so many definition for the political party here i mention it then what is a political party it is a group of people organized to obtain the state power based on the certain principles political parties political parties are categorized according to the functions of the party system of the country so there are three political party systems first one is single party system bi party system and multi party system first we are going to discuss about single party system so what is a single party system if only one party functions in a country it has a single party system normally you can see this uh, single party system in socialist countries such as north korea cuba the second one is bi party system if two parties actively functions to get the power of the country it is called bi party system many other pa political parties can be seen in these countries but they are uh, not powerful to get the power only two major parties functions to win the power uh, for example united states of america united kingdom 
so you can see by party system in those countries the last category is multi party system if more than two political parties function in a country it is called a country with multi party system the main feature of a country with the multi party system is that they try to win the power by uniting with many parties especially in sri lanka india you can see this multi party system okay children what are the duties of a political party mobilizing the scattered public opinion promoting the aims and politics of the party training the future leaders making the public aware respecting democratic political views and opinions of the opponent parties competition with the other parties to win the power of the country providing social welfare service so those are the duties of a political party franchise once you saw the word you can understand what is franchise it is the preference so for further expression one's opinion at an election to elect rules or representative is franchise franchise is given a prominent place in a democratic countries the right to elect people's representative at an election is regarded as franchise in our country the citizen who complete 18 years of age are entitled legally for the franchise it is necessary to include the name properly in the electoral list so what are the reasons for disqualification to be an elector so here i mention few reasons for disqualification to be an elector if he is not a citizen in sri lanka if he is under any law in sri lanka found to be of unsound mind and if he is disqualified with civic rights if he is sentenced to death if he is a named bankrupt by law so those reasons can be caused to disqualification to be an elector election election are held to elect people's representative and to check the public opinion on important matters of country what are the elections function in sri lanka at present yes presidential election parliament election provincial council election elections of local government in institute those are the elections functioning in sri lanka at present universal franchise franchise is granted to all qualified citizens to express their right to vote in elections without discrimination normally universal franchise was given to sri lankan citizen both males and females who was who were about 21 years of age in 1931 the age limit for the universal franchise has been reduced from 21 to 18 years in 1958 qualifications required to grant franchise being a citizen of sri lanka completion of 18 years of age citizens name should be include in the electoral list being a person not subjected to disfranchise factors to be considered when casting the vote electing educated intelligent expert leaders as representative being alert of policy papers produced before the election electing leaders who takes care of public expectations instead of having personal expectation electing leaders who are dedicated to implement national goals and principles so those are the factors to be considered when casting the vote
what is the importance of universal, universal franchise getting the opportunity to all the citizens who are qualified to cast vote for one's political opinion without any discrepation getting opportunity to elect suitable leaders getting opportunity to all citizens to engage in active politics being able to expand political knowledge of the people developing the sense of the citizen that they are stakeholders of the governments getting opportunity to elect rule, rulers whom they like to reject rules they dislike so those are the importance of universal franchise rights of the public related to elections election is an opportunity where people participate in governance there are two strategies of electing representative at elections first one simple majority representative system it is electing the candidates who won the majority of votes among the others of electoral district the next one is proportional representative system it is the comparative distribution of members according to the number of votes gained by the party or a group at an election so what are the rights of citizen related to election inclusion of one's name in the electoral list right to what getting the membership of a political party as one wishes establishment of political parties the so those are the rights of citizen related to election then what are the duties of citizen related to election casting the vote following the rules and regulation of elections acceptance of victory and defeat in equality be helping to implement election rules so those are the duties of citizen related to election assertiveness it's mean working on just reasonable and firm principles according to one's own self concerns it is a quality that should be developed right from the being as a student it is very important to work with assertion to succeed in your uh, future life so what are the qualities necessary to develop assertiveness within a person honesty softness fairness loyalty fairness respecting other views work with bolded understanding so those are the qualities necessary to develop assertiveness nation building nation building is working together with different ethnic groups religious groups or social groups as one nation to achieve development goals facing future challenges for example in our country people belongs to sinhala tamil muslim berger live together further they belongs to different religious groups such as buddhist hindus islamic uh, catholics and christians everybody must dedicate for the nation building with a sense of sri lankan we are sri lankan national policy a long term action plan prepared in order to achieve the identified national development needs is called as a national policy having a national policy is essential to fulfill the development needs of a country it's help to achieve public expectation as well as to reach the specific objectives and national unity occurs help to achieve future challenges 
fulfill public expectation achieving sp specific objectives and goals economic and social development of the country creating sustainable development creating sustainable national peace so those are the benefits gained by having a national policy by studying this chapter you learn about democracy it is a governing system as well as a lifestyle and also you learn about franchise and elections those are very important rights of a citizen in a democratic society people get the opportunity to participate in governance through indirect rep representation in elections working on just and reasonable principle with self confidence is assertiveness so for national building it is highly necessary for the all citizen to dedicate without any discrimination so those are the learning outcomes from this chapter thank you